that rhythm. What's up, it is Comedic Chimera here, back with another tutorial after last week's, well, the week before last's monstrosities. Um, we're not, we're not going to talk about the Overwatch video on this one. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool motion graphic effect that, um, it's fairly simple, but I think it looks very good for things just like channel titles or showcasing whatever you want. So, here is what it looks like. So as you can see, we've got this nice sort of dual range blending mode right here that I think looks really nice. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So right now I'm going to create a new composition, so, so, so go to composition, new composition, and we can just call this cut, 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 cut comp. We can just leave it all like this. I just like to leave things at 30 frames at 30 seconds, so I have room to work. But other than that, pretty much 29 frames per second, 1080p. So let's just create this composition here. And for the purposes of this video, the background that we're going to be using is not this one because this background is done with plugin trap code mirror. And obviously, this is a free effect, so you don't need to have plugins to create that effect. So I'm just going to create a gradient ramp. So to begin, let's create our new gradient ramp, or solid, I guess. So we can call this BG. Let's just make it white. So I'm going to be using a sort of gray and white ramp here, so search up gradient ramp, apply it onto there, then set this color to sort of a gray tone, kind of looks like that, max out, really increase the ramp scatter, radial, and then move the center point down to about right here, and then kind of increase this a bit. Sorry, no. Um, and that should really give you all you need. You can kind of darken this as you f see fit. I'm gonna try it like that. That doesn't, no, I don't like that. Let's just leave it like this. So now we're gonna create our new text. So for this, I'm just gonna type cool text. And this one, I'm gonna use the color green, sort of a nice lime green here. Come up there. There, I like that. Let's go with that. And then now we're just going to center it up, kind of like that. And I do not know. Yeah. Okay, so now let's um, go press P for position. So then go to right about here, set a keyframe. I'm going to be showing you how to do the full effect from four, not just the little crossing, crossing thing. So then you can kind of move this off screen kind of like that easy ease and now we have this which looks pretty nice so now that it's in we can start doing the cool little effect so first I want you to select both of these um, just press you close those and pre-compose call this call this base now that you have base, now we can go into our project panel, go into base, and you can duplicate it, so just select it, go control D, edit, so just click, right click and rename it to overlay, and then now I can drag overlay into this new composition, like so. And now I'm going to go into the overlay comp and I'm now going to do two things. So now I'm going to create another new solid. We're going to call this green. And I'm going to make it the same color as my text right here. Now I want to move it below everything else, so right here. And then now I want you to go to BG, make sure you have the switches enabled to do that. You just click here and you can toggle between them and set this to alpha mat, cool text. And now you should get something that looks kind of like this, which is already looking pretty much like what we want. So now let's go back into our composition, 
go into your effects and presets and search linear wipe. So right here, or you can kind of do either one. I think I used this one. Yes. And then now you can set the transition completion to 50%, and then set the angle to about 110, I believe. No, it's too much. Uh, I believe it was 100 is what I had it on on the last one. So just like that. And then go to right where you want your transition to end. Hit keyframe on the transition completion. Press U. And set. And then just leave that like that. Go back to where you want it to come in. Or it should be right back there. And then set this to 100. Like so. Easy, easy. So let's go into our graph editor. Take this handle and drag it. Why is it doing that? Please, please quit being weird. And drag it down, kind of like that. Bring this up so it kind of slows at the end. Turn that off, and now you should see this. Which looks pretty nice. And now you can see we've got this sort of split text effect. And now, in order to transition it out, you're going to apply another linear wipe to both of these go to about right here and then go into overlay now go into base and then go in keyframe this and then select it press u to show your keyframes then go to right about here you want this to kind of be a fast transition and set it to 100 percent and then i think i wanted this one to i believe go up so we're going to set it to a wipe angle of 0 degrees, and now you should get this. So it's nice, now go right to where this transition begins. And then go up to here to your second linear wipe effect keyframe, and do the same thing with transition completion at 100% here, wipe angle at 180, so they kind of go down opposed to each other. And then select both these layers, press U twice to show all your keyframes. But as you watch, you're going to see we're going to have a problem here. So if I play this, you can see how right in the middle, it looks like that. And that's not what we want. We don't want that. We want this to sort of have, like, its own separate black field that it actually carved out. So in order to do that, I'm going to select. So now let's deselect this. Select this layer. So now I'm going to duplicate it, move it below its pre predecessor, then I want you to apply the fill effect to this layer, like so, set it to black, now go to right here when they're both in, trim it down to there, and then now go press U on this, and then delete the, these end keyframes and this last wipe effect. And now you should see we get the exact same effect you saw before, where when these pull back, this carves its own space because there's a black solid beneath it. So that is going to be about it for this short little tutorial. I know that it wasn't very long, but I just think it's a cool effect that I wanted to show to you guys. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. and. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comments below, and I will see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.